So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's do better underscore fitness. And that's for my work one. And our car one is watch underscore German underscore cars. Okay, so our referral code for Instavol charging, this will get you five pounds off your charge, is small e, big Q, big P, big Q, and small P. So welcome to my video guys. So today we're going to be talking about should you really worry if your EV will burn down. So I'm going to go over the reasons that this can happen. I'm going to go for early telltale signs. I'm going to give you the examples that it has happened with. And I'm going to show you the statistics because I know people will tell you that EVs burn down more than anything else, but it's not true. And I've actually got the facts to show you to you. Okay, so this is a Mercedes E. QB on fire while charging. Here's a couple Tykens on fire. Here's the E tron on fire. And unfortunately, this is a ship that burnt down because of a couple Tykens caught fire inside and destroyed so many other vehicles like Lamborghinis and Bentleys and everything. And this is unfortunate, but EV fires can happen. It could be because you've hit something and damage the pack. It could be a fault with the pack itself. So things do happen. So one of the largest causes for EV fire is running over something. So I thought I will show you some statistics on accidents based on people running over debris. It's going to be most likely that it's going to happen on a freeway or motorway. Look how many there are. There's quite a lot of people running over things every single year. So that does give you a bit of a higher risk to accidentally hit something. But don't let that scare you. Gas and hybrids do catch fire quite a lot as well. So you can see this is for like fuel lines. Gas cars can catch fire for many different reasons, some of which are faulty fuel systems. It could be the lines, could be like loose fittings, could be like a, a problem with the seal. So gas gets out, it's got a low flash point, so it ignites very easily near anything that's hot. It doesn't necessarily need the spark. So unlike an EV, um, it could be electrical shorts. So that could happen in EV as well, but electrical shorts in gas or diesel vehicles, especially like in Lamborghinis and the Ferraris, the exhausts are very hot. And unfortunately, oil leaking or anything, it can catch fire. Or over revving it, the exhaust gets too hot and it actually catches fire to the rear. Um, engines can overheat so bad coolant leaks or failed water pumps, seized radiators, cracked lines, so oil fuel again it could be spraying out onto the exhaust and therefore fire. Um, common faults are valve cover gasket failures or loose fittings and that's 12% of them catch fire for this reason. The largest percent is 34% and that's going to be for the fuel problem leaks. Okay, so for my graph I'm going to be showing you for 100,000 of each one of these vehicles, this is what the problem is going to be. So if you had 100,000 hybrids, 3,500 will have a fire. And if you had a gas car and you had 100,000 of them, 1500 would have a problem with a fire and the electric car only make up 50 of these out of a hundred thousand will potentially have a fire so as you can see it doesn't matter what people are saying this is facts EVs don't really burn down more than these other vehicles obviously the hybrid they're gonna have the combination problems with them both and they're very complicated and if you watch my videos on hybrids and how I think they're honestly pointless you should just have an EV or just have a gas car. Um, you can, it'll be in my playlist. And if you guys have any other questions, let me know. And I'm also showing you here the statistics of which brand has the fires. All right, hopefully this video has helped you guys. If it has, please like and subscribe. I will see you guys on Wednesday for another new video. And yes, all my videos are made upon request. So if you have a question too, let me know and I'll do my best to help you. Bye.